Hey guys, welcome to the Cine Jam, the ultimate hub for your entertainment dose. This week, we bring you guys the recap of The Alienist, whose season 2 is due to premiere on 19th July. And please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Season 1 opens with a mutilated corpse of a boy prostitute, and standing beside the dead body is John Moore, an illustrator sent by a criminal psychologist, Laszlo Chrysler. The murder reminded him of a similar incident that had taken place some years ago. They receive help from Sarah Howard, I've read your work. who is the secretary to the police commissioner Roosevelt. Yes, what are you suggesting? Unfortunately, neither the files provided by Howard, yes, Howard. nor the dead bodies helped them much, which forces Chrysler to form a team to investigate and explore new forensic sciences. The investigation heats up and stakes rise as Chrysler looks for other victims of the serial killer and tries to connect the evidence left behind him. I want to know about Giorgio Santorelli. Meanwhile, the mystery of the murdered boys gets complicated as we come to know of the fact that I remembered something. An upper-class family named Van Bergen learned that their son might have been involved. Does this have something to do with Willem? With the murdered boy prostitutes. And on the other side, missing Giorgio Santorelli's body shows corruption inside the police department. Soon, they find another dead body. There's been another one. When Sarah deduces that the killer is attracted to heights. He's attracted to heights. In fact, he's right under their noses at this time. Bloody hell! Listening to their entire conversation. And get his hands on Moore's handbook when the group leaves in a hurry. While strolling through the red light district, Moore ends up on the roof, where bits of a frayed rope provided another piece to the puzzle. Looks like he tied to this base and went down the shaft. Soon enough, the whole gang finds themselves at a nightclub. So, tell me your purpose in meeting. Summoned by the killer, who sent a horrific letter to Giorgio Santorelli's mother, knowing it would find its way into the alienist's hands. There's a voice in my head while reading the words. Now Chrysler interviews another of his patients, Jesse Pomeroy, who was sentenced to life in prison at the age of 14. Hello, Jesse. After brutally murdering several children in Boston. You really think I killed those kids because, because my mother. But it was also a lost cause. Face. <laughs> Coming onto the mysterious William Van Bergen. Who has divided Chrysler and Roosevelt. Van Bergen is not our killer. How did you reach that conclusion? Into different camps. The latter is also tricked by his own captain, who is in cahoots with the Bergen family. On the other hand, Chrysler is one step closer to catching his killer. Open the door, this is the police! And thinks that he has decoded the pattern with which the killer chooses his victims. Stevie Taggart studies the killer's schedule. What's this evening? The Feast of Ascension, sir. And suggests that he'll be kidnapping his next victim on Ascension Day. The gang comes up with a plan. God help us all. But the whole evening suffers a series of mishaps and the evening ends with no new solid evidence. Don't hurt me. Go bugger yourself. In between all of this, Captain Connor kills <laughs> and throws his body off the bridge. Soon enough, Chrysler and company come up with another plan, which also Steve. failed spectacularly. Where is he? He got away. And ended with partially dismembered Rosie at the feet of the Statue of Liberty. Soon, John and Dr. Chrysler both are on their way to Washington to look up the psychiatric records of discharged soldier. Do you mind if I have a look at the records? It is on this trip that Chrysler learns about Corporal John Beecham and his infamous career. Soon, we see that the whole gang had jumped onto the wagon to capture John. Unfortunately, at the same time, Connor and his goons are paying a visit to Chrysler's home, where Mary dies after Connor throws her over the second floor banister rail. On the other side, George is next expected to strike on the eve of the feast, and he did so. As the finale starts with the discovery of the latest dead boy and finding out that little Joseph is missing, our gang is still looking for Beecham by staking out the highest bridge in the city. Meanwhile, right way to the high bridge tower. We're not going to a high bridge. Dr. Chrysler takes John to the place where little Joseph might be held as a captive. They find Beecham and he knocks out John and is struggling with Laszlo when Captain Connor shows up and shoots Beecham. He then plans to kill John and Laszlo so he can take all the credit. That's when Sarah shows up and shoots him dead. Season 1 ended with Roosevelt commemorating Connor as a hero, which seems to appease a lot of people who were worried that an alienist solving a crime instead of the cops would be trouble. 
That's all from our side. Please do share your thoughts and theories on what might happen in season two.